Hey, how's it going guys? Uber Jack here with another video for you today. And this one is a, a bit of a different one, as you can see from the title. I'm uh, actually on my way now as we speak currently to uh, Cardiff Airport. And um, I'm doing my first meet and greet pickup. Um, so, just to explain to you guys how that came about. Um, obviously, if you ever pick a customer up from the airport on U with Uber, and don't get me wrong, it varies from airport to airport, but usually um, it's not really sort of pre-arranged. You just happen to be there, and then you get the request come through. And um, it's usually a customer that's sort of already come out of the, the terminal, and they're waiting there for you uh, to be picked up. So that you know that's how it works with Uber. With this, this is actually work that I'm uh, I've received from a uh, private operator. Um, I have actually started taking work now from a, a private operator in my area, and um, this is one of the jobs. I've done a few jobs with them so far. Uh, this is the first sort of airport run, if you like. It's not a massive uh, airport run. It's just from Cardiff Airport into Cardiff. Um, and um, as I say, it's a meet and greet. So what that entails is um, me basically parking the car up and getting out of the car, um, heading over to the uh, arrivals hall with um, you know a sign with the, the customer's name on, and then waiting for them to you know come out with, and then we just go and that's it. So yeah, obviously the shirt as well. In case anyone's noticed, you know it's all part of the. Um, part of the you know the job um to sort of look presentable not that i do but i'm trying <laughs> um to look presentable and um you know a, a bit of a change from wearing just sort of a t-shirt that i would usually wear or, or whatever um and yeah i'm actually quite looking forward to it it's nice to have work um that's pre-arranged and that's something that you know i think a lot of private hire drivers um, that I know of anyway strive to do so what you know if you're coming into this industry simply for um, work with uber you can do that no problem at all but then you know you're gonna look to see if you can take work from other sources so another source would be Ola for example uh, even though they're very similar to uber it's still another source that you can sort of um, get work from and then also, you know, any other kind of operators that you're able to, to take work from. Now, the thing about most operators is they don't really work in the same way that um, Uber and Ola work in terms of, you know, you, you pay them a, uh, a percentage of, of each fare. So there's no sort of, oh, you know, big overheads that you've got. So if you go to most private, um, local private companies and private operators, they'll mostly charge you like a set fee for the week. And then that fee um, entitles you to uh, log in on their um, radio or their, um, you know, whatever it, it might be an app. And you know you can get work then, and and the full fare comes to you, so because you've already paid your your weekly costs. Now the problem with that is it only limits you really to that company, and then maybe a bit of Uber and a bit of Ola. Whereas if you can get an operator, and it is hard, don't get me wrong, because there's not many operators that do it. But I found one luckily, and it and it's it's through um a, a guy that I know actually, so that was handy too. Um. And, it, and basically, I'll be paying him, um, just like I do with Uber, a uh, a percentage of the fares. It will actually work out less than what I pay Uber. Because 25% obviously is very steep. You know, you got 15% with Ola. I think it's around 10 to 15% that we'll pay. And it's also capped when you um, pay a certain amount on it on a trip. So if it's a very, very long trip, say, um, you know, an airport run to London for myself, that would be a long trip from where I am. You know, they would cap, he would actually cap the commission that he takes from the fare. Uh, at a certain rate so that <clears throat> you don't end up losing a big percentage of obviously what is a large affair um so yeah so i'm excited for it as i say i've just pulled up now near the airport i won't be going in there just yet um because i'm i'm about 20 25 minutes early till the flight lands uh, i'm obviously wanting to get here on time so that uh you know there was no hiccups on the way this that and the other um 
and uh yeah so you know you, you've got to make sure as well that you you're familiar with the airport that you go into beforehand so if you've never been to an airport that you're picking up from you'll really want to get there um with good time so that you can suss out the you know the, they're very complicated in most instances you can suss out where you're going to need to to park the car then you got to get over to the arrivals hall like i say work out how the payment works because you usually got to pay for parking unfortunately um and go from there just a final thing to add as well um with this um opportunity that i've got there is chance for repeat work that will come directly to myself so um the person who uh, has this uh, operator's license and company set up has a website with the drivers on there and you can actually go on there and select a driver if you wish now if for example i take this customer now and i drop them off and they're very happy with you know the car myself and everything like that they could ask for me again and again and again and again and that's really what you'll be striving for in any type of private hire is the repeat business you got to be careful that you don't get involved yourself with the with the with the procedure and it all goes through an operator uh legally and correctly um but you can make you know good repeat business from it and that's what you're looking to do because you know constantly paying the 25% uber and all your work it's like going the long way around to get to where you want to be um you want to try and you know take these opportunities that come up and and look for opportunities because at the end of the day we're private hire drivers and we're self employed so that we can so we can take work from multiple sources and you just got to make sure it works for you um so to to maximize you know your, your yourself and and the time on the your, you know you minimize minimize really the time that you're on the road to maximize your your profits that's ideally what you want to be striving for so yeah so i hope everybody enjoyed the video um i won't bother letting you guys know how it go how it went i'm here on time that was the main uh thing i'm just you know i've been to this airport thousands of times so i know exactly where i'm going but um i'll keep you guys posted on any other work that i do with this operator i think i do have a job lined up for friday which is a particularly long trip as well um uh yeah this friday so i might uh, do a video on that i've got a few other videos coming up as well that i'm keen to get out so uh guys thank you for watching i'll catch you on the next one